Welcome Pokemon Go Trainers, welcome back to my channel. So in this video I am going to feature Master League Battle with the Master Pokemons which are Xerneas, Mewtwo and Garatina. This team gave me a consistent result and I am showcasing one of my set which was undefeated. So before starting the video I would like to request all my viewers to please subscribe my channel. Let's start the video, Xerneas vs Ho Ho. Even in bad lead it worked very well. So I am going to safe switch into Mewtwo. Opponent safe switch into Palkia. So I can throw three side strike. I have to generate back to back. I am one psycho cut away from the second one. So I am going to throw this side strike. This doesn't shield. And I am going to throw the second one immediately. This might grab the first shield. And if I shield again, I can reach my another side strike. And he throws, I think, Aqua Tail now. Before I reach my third one. So I am going to shield here just to put up another shield pressure on the opponent and i throw this side strike this will grab the final shield so that opponent gets shield less and he shields here and he totally farms me down now definitely going to come with the Xerneas so that i can just geomancy farm him down he throws aqua tail he might throw two aqua tail now and he throws it but I am not going to shield, hoping that there is no dragon pokemon after Ho Ho. And he comes with Ho Ho, I come with my Garatina. And it stays and he's going to throw Brave Bird I think. So just to respect it, I am going to shield here. And it was a Brave Bird. And opponent comes with the Lugia. So what I have to do is, I have to generate two Shadow Ball to knock out this Lugia. But hopefully he doesn't reach Aeroblast. And I am going to farm up. He has generated sky attack I think. And he doesn't throw. Which is a mistake done by the opponent. So I am going to go for my shadow ball. This will definitely knock out. But still it's not a end here. Because Ho Ho can brave mud both of my pokemon. And my switch timer is getting up. So I have reached this shadow ball. And once I reach the shadow ball. I want to force him to throw his energy. But he is not throwing. So I combo play with the Xerneas and I throw the close combat hoping that this close combat should be enough. Let's see and yes it was enough. So good game we won this first match. Let's hop into the next match Xerneas versus Dragonite. Very good lead. So I'm going to farm up and he comes with the Landorus and I was a bit slow on the swap. So I came with the Garatina. Now I think opponent can outpace me with the Sensius Strong and drop my attack continuously. And he throws Sensius from. Attack has been dropped. I go for the Ominous Wind bait. Let's see if he calls it. If he calls it then I am in a bit trouble. And he calls it. Very good call by the opponent. And this time I am not going to bait him. I am going to go for the Shadow Ball. Let's see. And he throws Sensius from I think. Again lowering my attack. And he reaches third one. And because of my slow swap. I was unable to win the match. So Sensei Strom, I will let it go. I come with Mewtwo and one side strike should be enough to knock out. And this was a CMP. So I am going to throw this side strike. This will knock out the Landorus. And yes it does. And he comes with the Dragonite again. Hopefully there is nothing at the back which Xerneas is threatening with. So I am going to throw this side strike and swap into my Xerneas. And he comes with the Groudon. Actually, he is not running Mudshot. He is running Dragon Tail on his Groudon. So, I am going to pull send the Moon Blast. I am going to continuously spam those Moon Blast instead of Close Combat. It does a good amount. And now I have to make a decision. Make a call that he is going to throw the Precipal Blades. If he baits me, then he can knock me out. And he throws Precipal Blade. It's a very good call. And I throw for the Moon Blast, but he resigns the match. So good game. Let's hop into the next match. Xerneas versus Kyogre. So I have a two good answers. So what I'm going to do is I have to safe switch into Mewtwo. And going to go for the side strike on the CMP against the Surf. This side strike will do heavy damage. But missing some bubbles. But still fine. I'm going to get the first shield. I'm going to let this one go through. I know I can reach my second side strike. And it gets me into red health now. And I am going to go for my this second side strike. Let's see if opponent decide to give up the final shield. 
and he doesn't he does the damage now going to wait for my switch timer and once switch timer is up i'm going to come with my garretina let's see and i come with garretina i'm going to farm him down but he throws pre marina i think this could be a kyogre double fairy so i'm going to throw the shadow ball and my switch timer is also up so i can come with zernius he shields here now opponent is shieldless and i have a two shield advantage one moon blast should be enough to knock out so before that i have to shield here just to retain some health and it was a disarming voice and i throw this moon blast this will definitely knock out the pre marina from this health range and it doesn't actually if left with few hp but i get the farm down now and kyogre throws surf that's very unfortunate i have to shield because there could be another fairy type at the back for which i need the zernius i am going to over farm a bit and then throw my moon blast this will definitely knock out the kyogre and let's see what the final pokemon is and satoge kiss as i said i guess the team correctly so i am going to throw this moon blast this will get the toga kiss below half and now i can come with garretina and i get the attack drop which is very good for me now i can just throw shadow ball this will knock out and there was a lag while throwing the charge move hopefully this is not flame thrower it's a ancient power that's very good now i can throw my shadow ball this will definitely knock out the toga kiss and secure arwen so good game let's hop into the next match let's see what the next opponent has and it's against the zernius versus palkia a dream lead so let's see what safe switch will be and he safe switch into landorus this time i swap out correctly and now i'm going to throw the ominous wind bait he throws sensius from hopefully i can grab the shield but he throws stone age that was very surprising so he might shield thinking that i'm going to go for the shadow ball and he shields here very good for myself and now i'm going to send the shadow ball but i think i have to shield here even though it's a sensius storm and he throws sensius storm an opponent let's see if he gives up the final shield and he gives up the final shield now and i'm going to throw another shadow ball but i have to shield again let's see and i shield here this debuffs and opponent does a very good catch of shadow ball on palkia good game by the opponent and it doesn't do that much but i have a zernius hard answer for the palkia so i'm going to over farm a lot so that once landorus return i can threaten him with some energy he throws aqua tail i don't want to take another aqua tail so i threw it immediately so going for the moon blast it will knock out and if landorus return i can throw a moon blast with few geomancy away from it let's see but he returns with the ho ho now this is worst and he's farming up and my switch timer is not up yet just to burn the switch timer i'm going to throw my moon blast and then i'm going to come with garretina just to force him to dump some energy and he throws it this could be a secret fire so i am going to this will definitely knock out and thinking that ho ho must have lot of energy so i am going to come with mew2 and going for the side strike this was a cmp i think ho ho has generated a lot of energy and it gets him very low and he has a landorus at the back if he throws brave bird then this will be very difficult for me and he throws sacred fire i survive with few hp and didn't got the debuff and he comes with the landorus and this will knock out my mew2 and now i have to generate back to back close combat i was one geomancy away from the second one so hopefully i can generate it and incinerate doesn't registered quickly so i was able to reach my close combat what a close game just 1 hp zernius can knock out the ho ho it's a good game let's hop into the next match see what the next opponent has and it's a zernius versus pre marina so 
I would say a neutral lead, but charms will do lot. So going to throw my moon blast immediately, not going to over farm a lot. And he throws a Kyogre, very good catch by the opponent. But I have a Garitina for it. So I am going to farm up lot of energy. But I have to be very careful, he might be running Blizzard, which will definitely one shot. And this is not a Blizzard, he doesn't generate energy for that much. And he throws Surf now. And I'm thinking of going for the ominous wind, but I have to farm him down just to save some energy for the pre marina. And I throw the surf, I getting very low now. I can throw two shadow ball, but before that I'll beat him with the ominous wind. Let's see if I can grab the shield and he comes with the palkia. And I throw the ominous wind, it didn't do that much. And now I'm going to throw my shadow ball. This will do more damage. Let's see if opponent decide to shield here. And he doesn't. Now I can come with Xerneas comfortably. But he comes with the pre marina. I am staying here. I'll shield this one. Just to retain some health. No, I didn't shield here. I let it go. I'm putting up a faith on Mewtwo. And I'm going to throw this moon blast. This will definitely knock out. And... He shields here. Now I can come with Mewtwo. I have to get 3 side strike. 1 for shield and 2 for the Pokemons. And first side strike. This will definitely grab the first final shield. No, he doesn't. And now I am going to generate back to back. So that I can just knock out the Palkia. And this will grab the shield. And next one will knock out the Palkia. So good game. We won this final match as well. This was the undefeated set I am showcasing. Hopefully you have enjoyed the video. If you do, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to my channel and share with your Pogo friends. Till the time, take care trainers and let me know in the comment section if you want to see more Master League battles. Till the time, have a great day. Bye.